Hey guys, what is up? It's Dusty here and welcome back to another crypto video. As you can see from the bar at the top right here, we have a ton of stuff to discuss today. So if you enjoy the daily crypto news, make sure you press that like button and of course subscribe for more of these updates, which ultimately, I hope, will make you rich. Now, remember, XRP will succeed. Just a little reminder for a lot of people in the comment section who often get angry at my opinion. Everything I say here is just my opinion or something that we read from the interwebs. Don't take it too seriously. It's a little important uh, reminder. But more importantly, if I am bullish on something like, for example, XRP, that doesn't mean everybody has to and that I hate or despise everybody who has a different opinion. I personally think XRP will do amazing, and this is a reminder for all the people in the same type of mindset. It doesn't mean it's an objective fact, and it doesn't mean that you have to agree with it. It's my own personal vision, and this is what I think is going to happen. I honestly think it's going to go crazy. I don't care if it's a bull or bear market. I think the lawsuit on his own is going to be amazing. But besides all the SEC Ripple stuff, I just think the vision is so beautiful for making these cross-border remittances a better place. Right now, we've already seen in the Q3 report, but even throughout the entire 2021, that Ripple has gotten through some massive expansion. And if you ask me personally, I think that will only keep growing as... Okay, sorry to come back to it. The lawsuit stuff kind of figures itself out. So from almost any perspective, it's, it's, it's hard for this project not to be a success. It is extremely undervalued right now, as the price should have been at least five bucks right now, if you ask me. Had it been for the SEC making rules instead of suing? Then again, since we did get that in though, right? We have the prospect of them winning the lawsuit, which I'm pretty convinced is going to happen. I don't see any way in which they're going to lose, but again, that's just me. And we also have the prospect for the, the, the project just growing and expanding in the way that it's now doing. Plus expansion to America, that's right now unavailable. And then again, we have some relisting possibilities. Guys, there's so much great stuff in the pipeline. I am crazy excited about this project. And if you're not, that's completely fine, but I am. And so that's why I keep shouting it throughout these videos, because I think it's one of the easiest opportunities to make money. And I remember when all these people were saying in the comment section, XP is going to go to zero because they got sued by the SEC, yada, yada, yada. Look where we are now, huh? Look where we are now. They haven't won just quite yet, but the price is definitely not at zero. And if the price was gonna, it would have most likely done it the moment they got sued. So, uh, <laughs> yeah, no, things are looking amazing for this crypto. I feel as if nothing can break them anymore. If an SEC lawsuit of this degree cannot break you, nothing can break them anymore. All right, uh, just kind of, you know, emphasizing here, XP transactions reach new heights in Q3. ODL sales show a sharp climb. It's just pretty good stuff. All right. You can get free Doge with your Whopper purchases at participating Burger King locations. So Burger King is doing, in the USA, a little bit of a interesting deal where they basically got themselves a prize pool of 2 million Doge, 20 Bitcoin, and 200 Ethereum to give away, er uh, not every time, huh? but in total, to people who purchase some of their products. I think it's a very smart idea uh, for publicity, of course, because you're going to get it all newspapers and whatnot, but also a very good idea for the expansion of cryptocurrencies themselves right it's a very very nice gesture because well if those people in the the stores are going to see it a lot of them might think differently of crypto and as i've said in a couple of the the panels that i've gone to whenever i speak i tell them this my entire journey started because i got myself some crypto i got it gifted to me for free most people in my close circle they started the crypto journey because i gifted them something or i helped them set it up basically if Burger King gifts you something, there's a very high likelihood you're going to dive yourself deeper into the rabbit hole. All right, Squid Game, the, the cryptocurrency, rug pulls. The price crash is 99.99%. So uh, that's uh, peculiar. Squid Game price today, today uh, it's down 99.99%. It's basically worthless now. It went from 2800 bucks to about 0 0.005 in a single red candle, indicating that what many thought inevitable, the project got rugged. A rug pool means that people behind it, usually a team for developers, uh, use a backdoor in the code that allows them to remove the liquidity and make away with the profits. In any case, the warning signs were there all along, and the squid price made the entire business model absolutely senseless. Um, well, yeah, I was actually kind of shouting on Twitter that I would never buy this because it sounds pretty dumb. 
um, because you already know they made it purely to make some money on you. And even though the idea for a Squid Game coin is not actually that bad, because if you make a really good, you know, um, I, I guess gaming type of, of coin like they even did right now, it's not even a bad idea. But they decided to take the money real quick because it's still millions upon millions of dollars. Uh, it was, it could have been, I don't know how much money was in there. It could be hundreds of millions even. We have received multiple reports that users are not able to sell their token in PancakeSwap. Please do your own due diligence and exercise caution while trading. This project, while clearly inspired by the Netflix show of the same name, is unlikely to be affiliated with the official IP. <laughs> the intellectual property, I think. The website of the project is also not working at the time. It's worth noting that there are other tokens on the market with the Squid ticker, and some of them appear to be performing very well. Regardless, what happened to Squid Game should be a major red flag and reminder to not give into the euphoria and do extensive due diligence before investing. Well, I saw this video from Mr. Whale as well. Some guy saw it uh, or was live streaming while it happened. He did not lose his entire life savings like uh, Crypto Whale here says or Mr. Whale. Um, I, cannot, I don't want to show you guys the sound either, but it's basically him looking at the charts and all of a sudden, a uh, almost, bam, a very, very big red candle. A huge, <laughs> he's screaming a little bit, of course. <sighs> I understand. Um, interesting, right? I guess that's, let's, let's put it like that. Interesting. Very, very interesting. All right, BC Backer shared this over on his Twitter. Bitcoin's price chart is primed for some type of explosive news for the altcoin market. I often refer to a simulation, the hands pulling the puppet strings. God, the balance of the universe, whatever, makes these things happen when they do. But we are primed for big news. Yeah, I, I'm just going to completely agree. I, I think we have been in such a neutral market for way too long. I would have expected Bitcoin crazy breakout a lot sooner than we actually got it for right now. I'm, I'm, I'm still waiting and I'm still prepared here for some crazy gains to happen in the shortest amount of time guys so once more i'm prepared for it i'm ready for it my bitcoin buys are in i have enough coins to last me a lifetime let's freaking go guys let's freaking go um i just saw paypal share this over on the twitter which is very ow i bit my tongue very interesting stay tuned for a big surprise and uh, it says cash and view cash view cash cash view i have no idea what they're trying to do here it's the official paypal yeah, I don't know. I have no clue what this could be. No clue. Shiba? I don't know. I have no idea. I mean, they don't really give any insights. It's just stay tuned for a big surprise, and we'll see what that was in the near future. Uh, breaking news. Binance suspended all crypto withdrawals. Yeah, you might think, oh, what's going on? It's already back on. It was for a little bit. All right, and Mr. Will also had some things to say. He said Binance has mysteriously halted all withdrawals without explaining why. This is why centralized exchanges are terrible. You really only have access to your coins when they say so, which is true, though. This part is the scary, uh, I, I, yeah, I guess, part of, um, of crypto. And there's actually two things in this video that are central right now. One is why the SEC is necessary from a certain perspective. Even though we don't respect their choices with XRP, uh, they are quite necessary to prevent some scams like the squid thing. Like, for example, Crypto Home said... Don't we need some sort of centralization to deal with these squid scams? Kind of do and kind of don't because in the end of the day, it's your own fault. And people who buy into squid, they knew what they were doing. They knew. All right, if you're buying to that, you're either, in my own opinion, you know, pretty pretty, pretty hopeful of some some crazy gains, basically. Um, yeah, or that's it, actually. You know, so you, you know what you're getting into, right? You cannot not know that it's basically a, a project that's purely meant to make some money on. If, if you name something that's so akin to the biggest hype, you know it's hype, you know, they want to make money off of you. They don't care about you. It could have been a legit project, yes, but you already knew the project was made to make money on you, um, literally. Not to help the world, no, to make money on you, right? If that's the primary objective of the of the thing, it's already a little bit, yeah, I don't know, guys. Um, but, but point number two was, um, a little bit more about the Binance thing. I personally use Ledger a lot. A link for that is down below. It's mostly because I just think it's smart. I don't know how, how, how better I can put it. I just think it's the smartest idea to put your money in a place where you don't rely on anybody else. And you can always push it out because you have the private keys for it. Uh, then again, Binance for a lot of people is really easy or any exchange for that matter. It's all a good as long as you know that you're 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 susceptible to things. Mana price forecast. Mana Decentraland is doing really amazing right now because of Facebook's new announcements of the metaverse, of course, and Axies and Sand are also doing really nice. Um, I cannot really say too much else about it. 
except for the fact that it's doing good. No idea how long it's gonna last because coins like Engine, for example, did really well when NFT started popping off. I have no idea how long this metaverse hype is gonna stick around. Then again, the metaverse will only become more and more important. So I would probably not buy it right now, but I definitely think it's a smart idea to at least have some of these coins for if things keep on growing, which they most likely will. And then a double whammy. Tesla might soon start accepting Shiba as the token nears a possible listing on Robinhood. This makes absolutely no sense. Um, Watch your guru, however, a pretty big account said on their Twitter today. We can confirm Tesla has placed Shiba alongside Bitcoin into their website's payment processing system code. It is not currently enabled on the public and could be scrapped at any time or scraped at any time. Um, and, and here you can see Shib, the official account, I believe. Shib Army, our very own call has confirmed and verified the Tesla code. Here are some of his comments with the acknowledgement, and so that part is true. The second part, however, of a Robinhood listing, there's nothing that um, that that is that is concluded already. Uh, the token nears a possible listing. Well, we're still exactly as far. A listing could happen on Robinhood, but we didn't get closer or anything like that. So Kyle from Shiba said, or developer at Shiba said, or developer at Shiba Swap, well, whatever. I verified on Tesla's site, there could be a few possibilities. Elon Musk trolling Shiba. Someone at Tesla is Shiba trolling Elon Musk to support uh, to support Shiba. Shiba is a code name for some dog currency, and Shiba is coming. In any case, please do your own research and don't stake your farm. Yeah, interesting. Very very interesting. Yeah, I think it's also a troll to be honest with you because they knew people would would check this out. Uh, it was definitely a troll from Tesla Low. My husband also checked the coding and explained that it exists, but will never be executed because it doesn't have a function. It's basically coding troll from them. That, that, that This, of course, this makes absolutely no sense what she's saying. If you've ever coded before, you know that you can put something in uh, basically as a proprietary. Or like, you put it in, before, <laughs> why would it have a function if it's not going to do anything? You're, I don't know. You, uh, I don't know what to explain there. Shiba Army says, of course it doesn't have a function now because it's not a live payment yet. They have Bitcoin too there without a function. So, I mean, I'm not sure if Bitcoin has no function. I'm, I'm assuming they actually do have a function for Bitcoin, to be honest with you. Uh, but it depends on what you call a function. If you call a function encoding function or a function it does something uh, as a function. Two different things. Whatever, man. It's fun to see this type of stuff. All right, that was it for today's news. All right, that was it for today's news. Make sure you press the like button and subscribe to the channel if you enjoyed it. If there's any ways in which you can make these videos better, please let me know in the comments down below. And make sure you press that like button and subscribe for more. Adios, amigos. See you guys again in another crypto video later today.